Welcome back once again to the channel Growing Developer. Now in continuation with the Flutter series that we have started, we learned how widgets are managed in Flutter, what are stateless widget and what are stateful widget in the last video. This is where we left in the last video. Now let's write our first app from scratch. Let's remove all the code in main dot dot. So firstly you have to import material dot dot package. To import packages we write import. Now in single quotes we write material. You will get suggestion. There you go. We will import package flutter slash material dot dot. Now this package contains all widgets that implements or follows material design. Now you might be wondering what is material design? Well, material design is a set of guidelines laid down by Google that simply defines the structural aspects of components, also known as widgets in Dart. We'll have to define our first method name. Now this method is the entry point of all Flutter application that is whatever we write in this method gets executed. So let's call our method run app. So what does this run app do? According to Google Docs, it inflates the widget and attach it to the screen. Now what does that mean? In simpler words, whatever we pass in this method, we see it, we see it on the screen. Let's pass uh, one of the basic widgets that we have in Flutter, that is text. So text takes a parameter as a string. In single quotes, we'll write hello flutter from developer. We'll put a comma. Now next we have to pass a parameter known as text direction. In text direction, we'll write text direction dot LTR. LTR means left to right. In English, we follow LTR approach that is left to right approach. That's why we wrote text direction dot LTR. So let's just give it a run. Now you can see the text shown here. Let's bring it in the center. Let me just align it for your reading. Okay. So and it's more readable, right? Click on this bulb and click on wrap with center. Now what it did, it just wrapped this text widget with another widget which is known as center. So in this run app method, we are passing a center widget. Whatever we pass as a child to center widget gets aligned in the center of the screen, right? So let's run it. And you can see the text is shown in the center. Now this app doesn't look nice, right? So we'll further learn about two most important widgets in flutter that is material app and scaffold first the material app widget now it is a convenience widget that wraps a number of widgets commonly required for material design applications that is all the widgets that we will declare in material app will automatically implement material design and it provides a basic binding to them. So let's implement it. Let's remove the center from here. And we'll write material and here. So sorry, it is material app. Now this material app takes home 
as a parameter and in this home we have to pass some widget right now let's talk about scaffold widget now scaffold widget provides all the basic material layout that is needed that is it automatically aligns the app bar the drawer the floating action button bottom navigation bar etc in their proper place so let's write scaffold here and just give it a run now as you can see we got a blank white screen now why is this white scaffold widget has a property known as background color now for this background color default value is somewhat similar to white so if i write here color start blue that is i'm get, giving it a blue color now if i run it you can see we got a blue color now let's just keep it white it takes a parameter named body in this body whatever will pass it will show it on the scaffold now let's just pass our text here let's pass learning steadily and give it a run again you can see the text is shown here now notice that we didn't provided any text direction this time why because it is inside scaffold so scaffold automatically provides a material structure and by default we have the direction as left to right in it so what was the widget to bring it in the center yes you guessed it right it was the center widget so let's wrap with center and click on run now as you can see we got a text in the center so this was about the scaffold widget and material app we were able to develop our first app not very good i know but still it's an achievement that we are having a first app in next video we'll learn about the app bar the title of the app bar all the icons that we can put in the app bar and we'll see basic functioning of some widgets so that's all from my side in this video hope you enjoy the content if you like the content don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends too please do subscribe to my channel as this is very new to youtube and your support means a lot thank you have a nice day and goodbye